to uh, Austin, Texas at our home two days before Christmas, moved into the house we've been renovating. That's nice. Um, staying there with the family, kept it tight, and here we are starting off the new year. Matthew McConaughey is one of the leading actors in Hollywood. He first tasted stardom with the critically successful film Dazed and Confused. He initially appeared in a few TV commercials and played minor roles in a couple of films before getting a breakthrough in the Joel Schumacher thriller film A Time to Kill. His film career soon took a big leap and he received many acting offers. He is a passionate animal lover and the founder of Just Keep Living Foundation, which is dedicated to improving the lives of high school children. Mauritius. Okay, I've never, where is Mauritius? 1,500 miles off the eastern coast of South Africa, 1,500 miles east of Cape Town in the Indian Ocean. Hello everyone, welcome back to Net Worth Now, where you get to see the lifestyle and net worth of your favorite celebrities. We hope you enjoy these videos, and if you do, please remember to hit the like button and comment below who your favorite celebrity is so we can feature them in an upcoming video. His full name is Matthew David McConaughey, also known as Rooster. He was born on November 4th, 1969 in Uvalde, Texas, United States, making him 51 years old at the time of this production. He stands at six feet or 184 centimeters tall. McConaughey started the Just Keep Living Foundation, which is dedicated to helping teenage kids lead active lives and make healthy choices to become great men and women. On February 25th, 2016, McConaughey received the Creative Conscience Award from the Unite for Humanity for his work with this foundation. In 2019, McConaughey officially became a professor of practice for the Department of Radio Television Film at the Moody College of Communication in his alma mater, UT Austin. He has served as a visiting instructor since 2015. The first two sessions were about filming of the movie, The Free State of Jones. McConaughey is a Christian and attends a non-denominational church. In 2019, he became a minority owner of Austin FC, a team of Major League Soccer that began play in 2021. In March 2021, McConaughey confirmed that he is considering running for governor of Texas in 2022. McConaughey met Camilla Alves in 2006. On December 25, 2011, he and Alves became engaged and were married in a private Catholic ceremony on June 9, 2012 in Austin, Texas, where they reside. Together, they have three children, a son born in July of 2008, a daughter born in January 2010, and a second son born in December 2012. Kind of fits for why we shot there in the film. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 it's Hindu, it's Creole, it's Protestant, it's Muslim. It was only inhabited um, 400 years ago. On November 4th, 1969, Matthew McConaughey was born in Yavaldi, Texas, USA to James Donald McConaughey, a gas station owner and oil supplier, and Mary Kathleen, a kindergarten teacher. His family relocated to Longview, Texas, where he attended Longview High School. In high school, he was voted most handsome in the Longview Lobo Yearbook. In 1988, he moved to Warrenville, North South Wales, Australia, for a year as part of his education exchange program. He was a Rotary Exchange student he later attended the University of Texas at Austin College of Communication. In 1993, he graduated from the University of Texas with a BS degree in radio, television, film. During his time at the university, he was a member of the Delta Tau Delta International Fraternity. In 1991, he began his career in the entertainment industry. He appeared in a series of TV commercials before landing a role in the comedy film Dazed and Confused, Coming of Age, which earned immense critical acclaim. He was seen playing minor roles in a series of films like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Next Generation, Boys on the Side, and Angels in the Outfield. He was also seen in the TV series Unsolved Mysteries. In 1996, he got his big break in the Joel Schumacher thriller film A Time to Kill, in which he played the role of a lawyer named Jake Begins. This critically acclaimed film was an adaptation of John Grisham's novel of the same name. In 1997, he starred in the Academy Award-nominated historical drama film, Amistad, which Steven Spielberg directed. The film received good reviews from film critics. In 1999, he played the role of Edward Ed Pickerney in the American comedy film Ed TV, which Ron Howard directed. The following year, he was seen in a film titled U-571. In 2000, he appeared in an episode titled Escape from New York in the popular TV series, Sex in the City. 
The next year, he starred in the romantic comedy film The Wedding Planner. In 2002, he starred in the film Ring of Fire. Reign of Fire. The same year, he was seen in films such as 13 Conversations About One Thing, a drama film, and Frailty, a psychological thriller. In 2003, he appeared in the TV series documentary Freedom, a history of us. That year, he also played the character of Stephen Bedella in the film Tiptoes. He even starred in the romantic comedy film How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. In 2005, he played Brandon Lang in the film Two for the Money and acted in Sahara's action comedy adventure film. He voiced Al Bean in Magnificent Desolation, Walking on the Moon 3D, a 3D documentary film. In 2006, he played Jack Wengrel in the historical drama biopic film We Are Marshall, which McGee directed. In 2008, he starred in the American adventure film Fool's Gold. In 2008, he also starred in the action comedy film Tropic Thunder, which was immensely successful at the box office. That year, he was also seen as Steve Addington in the film Surfer Dude. In 2009, he starred opposite Jennifer Gardner in a romantic comedy film Ghosts of Girlfriends Past. The film was a commercial success, but received negative reviews from critics. In 2010, he starred in the American TV comedy series Eastbound and Down, which was a broadcast on HBO. He was seen in three episodes of the show. The following year, he starred in the film The Lincoln Lawyer. In 2012, he played the title role in Mudd's coming-of-age drama film, which Jeff Nichols directed. That year, he was also seen in films such as Magic Mike and The Paperboy. In 2013, he appeared in the biographical drama film Dallas Buyers Club. He received appreciation for portraying a cowboy diagnosed with AIDS. The role earned him the Academy Award for Best Actor and Golden Globe Award for Best Actor Drama. In addition to those two awards, he also won other awards and nominations. In 2013, he also starred in The Wolf on Wall Street. He appeared in the first season of HBO's crime anthology series, True Detective. For his performance as Detective Russ Cole, he won several awards and was nominated for Primetime Emmy and Golden Globe Awards. In 2014, Matthew starred as NASA pilot Joseph Cooper in the critically and commercially acclaimed science fiction movie, Interstellar. For people, I believe just its beauty, as far as I know. Um, it's got a volcano in the middle of it. It's got a lot of sugar cane. They make great rum. They do. In Mauritius, sir. According to estimates, Matthew's average annual salary is around $10 million. His salary for any major role in movies is usually around $20 million. From his world-famous movie Interstellar, he made $65 million alone. As of 2021, he is estimated to be worth $140 million. McConaughey lives with his family in a gorgeous 10,800-square-foot Spanish Mediterranean-style mansion in Austin, built in 1997 and features eight bathrooms, seven bedrooms, a two-island kitchen, a water fountain, a massive courtyard, a guest house, and seven boat slips near the lake, which sits only a short distance from the property. Though the exact price McConaughey paid for the home remains unknown, it's estimated that he may have bagged the place for less than $4 million. You will find him driving his GMC Yukon XL. Other than that, he owns a Lincoln MXX, a 1981 Camaro Z28, a Porsche 911 Turbo, a Rolls-Royce Phantom, Jaguar XJ and Aston Martin DBS. In a 1971 Corvette convertible, 